Nesting is always the best thing. That's what they said. That's what they said about after divorce and what to do with the kids and the households. Is that the best idea? I love living in extremes and using words like always and never. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I did light. <laughs> Why are you so weird all the time? So this is shit that therapists say mm -hmm. where we ask our Mended Light community, what are some terrible things that they've been told by therapists? And one thing was that nesting is always the best thing after divorce. And I, So I know what nesting is before having a baby. Yeah, what is that? What's the... Yeah, well, so it's where you get your home all ready to have your baby. Super organized. Mm -hmm. All the clothes put away and the furniture and it's all decorated. Food for weeks and like everything's, everything's just clean. ready. Yeah. yeah, you're ready for that baby. I was nesting before our first date when you came over. My apartment was like super clean, cleaner than it had been in months and everything. So <laughs> this is not what we're talking about though. Nesting after divorce is something else. It is, uh, we get a divorce and in order to give the kids stability, we keep them in the same home and we rotate in and out. So like yeah. you're in the is house. Is this our plan? We don't have a divorce <laughs> plan. I don't have an exit strategy for this. There is no escape from this. But where one parent's at home for three or three or four days and the right. other parent's at right. home for three or four days. And, and Instead of the kids rotating in and out of the house, the parents rotate in and out of the house. Right. Instead of the parents having different places and the kids go here and there. Exactly right. Yeah. And so here's my, here's my qualm right out of the gate with this. There is no one size fits all for almost anything in any relationship. People are different, circumstances are different, needs are different. We come at the world differently and to say this is the right way generally rubs me the wrong way. Right. I think there's benefits to nesting. There's some pros and cons, but I don't know. What are your thoughts? We all know divorce is very prolific. Mm -hmm. I mean... I've done it a few times. And there's so much misinformation out there about divorce um, and how it affects children. Uh, and the reality is divorce is hard. It's hard for everyone, even if it's the right thing, even if it's what's best, you know, for, for the spouse, for the children, even if it's the best thing, it is hard. It is emotionally brutal. Yeah. You feel raw. It turns everybody's lives upside down because nobody ever gets married to get divorced, right? right? Um, and when it comes to children, the number one thing to be aware of is, and this is true whether you, you get divorced or stay married, it's the level of contention yeah. in the home, right? People are like, I don't want to get divorced because divorce is bad for kids. And it's like, well, being yeah. in a house where the couple's always fighting is... Right. Or if one spouse, if one of the spouses is abusive emotionally, physically, or any other way, and right. even if it's not abusive towards the children, right? Right. Um, even if it's just the partner. And for me, um, as I, I was evaluating in my situation whether or not I was going to get a divorce, there was a lot of pros and a lot of con factors. And ultimately... Um, there were behaviors that I found unacceptable, yeah. right? And it's like, well, I'm the adult. I can find those unacceptable. But the example that I was setting for my child, to some extent, I was always accepting those behaviors if I stayed. Yeah. And the example I was setting was these behaviors are acceptable. Like you have to accept that accept it if somebody else does it to you or you can do it to somebody else and they will stay. Right, mm -hmm. right. And that was the... That was the breaking point for me is I cannot accept, set this example for my child that this is acceptable. Right. There's a lot of factors. Everybody's got to make that divorce decision for themselves and what the healthiest form of that divorce looks like. Right. And so I would say if there's going to be less contention and more stability by nesting after divorce, and it's something realistically that the parents can do, Absolutely. Yeah. It's an amazing option. If it's I've seen it work really well. Yeah. If it's going to create more disruption or more contention, because let's say one of the spouses is incredibly manipulative and sharing a home back and forth is going to increase that manipulation, I would say no. Like Right. That's not a fit. Right. Well, and there's there's lots of factors to consider. For example, if we split and we have two homes and the kids go from one home to the other, we have two separate homes that we're dealing with. But with nesting, 
we have the primary home where the kids stay and the parents circle in and out. Right. But then what, is there one apartment that the parents then share or are there like two d different places? Now we have three places that are yeah, managing so or does one person stay with family? Like Typically, yeah. <clears throat> typically whatever the parents choose to do, whether it's an apartment or another house or staying with a family member, depending on, you know. It's... Van down by the river. Van down by the river! And so going back to making the decision that's going to best support the children, a factor that needs to be looked at is the parents are a support to the children. So we need to look at, okay, what decision is going to best support the parents so that the parents can then best support the children. Right. Right. There is, there is that factor that is quite often um, not connected. Well, and you think about stability for the kids stay in the same neighborhood have the same friends and things right. like that. And that's a factor, but then there's the emotional component. You know, what is going to be the most emotionally stable circumstance? It might be staying in this home during the week and going to another one during the weekend. Uh, it might be staying in this home and the parents nest and they circle through. But as you were saying earlier, what leads to the, less co the least amount of contention? And a quick, you know, divorce tangent, the fights of the marriage should be done because you're not a partnership anymore on anything but raising the kids. And so a lot of this past stuff just needs to be let go of because it's all about harmony for the kids, harmony for the family. Because right. if you're divorcing and there's still like all of that contention, then the divorce was in vain. You know, mm -hmm. like you, you would divorce because the marriage isn't working. It's not going to work. And the idea is that we're all going to get along better and be in a healthier place because we're divorcing. Mm -hmm. And that needs to factor into the living arrangements as well. Well, and it's worthwhile to know that quite often nesting is not a forever arrangement because at some point you're probably going to have a future relationship, right? And you're going to want to live with that, you know, the future partner or the future spouse. So often nesting is a transition. Yeah. Um, it could be a shorter transition or it could be a longer transition. But it's not what you land on for a lot of people. Typically not. Again, it really comes down to what works best for you. And you shouldn't yield to pressure, external pressure about what you should be doing or what people think is best. It comes down to what the needs of your family are. And I would say it's okay to experiment. It's okay to make a decision and then a few months in to say, you know, actually, this isn't really a fit. Let's try something else. Yeah. I mean, you don't need to be married to this decision, just like you don't need to be married to your partner anymore. Ha! So... <laughs> It took me four tries to get that joke out. <clears throat> Dad power. I love this idea of nesting though. Like it, this wasn't around 10, 20 years ago. Nobody would have even considered it. No. Um, but the real benefits are the stability to the children. Like their life is very little disruptive. And, you know, I would imagine for the majority of people, you know, you have one or two careers going on, you know, for the parents. In this modern day life, you have so many things going on, right? And you're trying to juggle it and you're trying to juggle that with a divorce. And what nesting can look like is really not a whole lot changes for the children, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, because it's just one parent in the home instead of two, which probably was what happened in majority of the time anyways. And so there isn't an explanation of having to constantly give that to friends or family members of yeah, like, oh, yeah. well, my parents got divorced. Like it is that minimal dis it is that minimal disruption for the children. They have a home, they have a bedroom, all their stuff stays there. They don't need to worry about having two of everything yeah. or making sure their school books aren't forgotten at the other house. You know, it just takes all of that, that stress for the children and really takes it down a couple of notches. Um, and that's not to say that that transition might not happen in the future. Most likely it will, but it doesn't happen all at once. Modern problems, modern solutions. It's pretty awesome. If you are going through a divorce or have gone through a divorce and you're struggling, we've got a free video series. Link is in the description for Hope After Divorce that we'd like to share with you. Click on that link to get that free video series. As always, like, subscribe, click the bell, tell your friends what we're doing here. Clicking the bell means you get notified every time we drop a new video and you don't want to miss a thing. Even when I dream what? what? Speaking of divorce and stupid things that therapists have said, dating after divorce is easy. It's so easy. I don't know who would even say that, but apparently it happened. That's redonkulous. So until next time, keep shining because we need your life. 
Oh, here it comes, babe. That video we were telling them about. Clickety-click. Clickety-click, really? <laughs> tap, tap. Tap, tapioca. Mmm. Delicioso.